Here we go. Hi all, welcome back to the Tech Garage. And this is a framework laptop. Let me go ahead and get it unboxed. Oh nice, I get a little nice little card. Get a little patch here. Looks like some stickers. And more stickers. And then here we go. Looks like every language known to man. Little last addendum about it. All right, and inside we get, here's the bezel, bezel, the input cover kit, power adapter, all of the peripherals I got, of course the main unit itself, and this, and of course the RAM. 32 gig kit. I don't hear anything else in there. So somewhere around my SSD must be around here somewhere. Probably in here. There. We are the framework the box here. So we have my SSD and a stylus. No? Yeah. No, this is Torx and looks like a spudger. Alright, here we are. So here we go, framework laptop. 13 do yourself edition. So in her case, this is what I ordered. Alright. Here we are, there's our screen. Projector. So our SSD is going to go there, and our RAM is going to go here. Looks like I got two slots. And I believe there's only one in here. Yep. Yep. There's only one. Okay. So it looks like this one is DIM zero. There we go. Cool. Alright, next up, can put that hard drive in. Cool. Ed tore terribly. All right, more cardboard packaging. All right, here it is. Here we are. Looks so like you get a, excuse me, a single ribbon to connect everything. Looks like we connect it right here. Alright, that's on for now. We'll secure the screws when we flip the thing over. Alright. It appears to be magnetic. some tearaway tape here over the webcam. I'm going to leave that for the moment. Let's go 
ahead and secure the bottoms of this together. All right. for business. Now I've actually got six of these and we can only populate four of them at a time. So I think for now we're going to do at least one USB Charlie. Probably going to leave the HDMI off for now. I definitely want Ethernet but I think I'm going to hold off for now. So I think we're going to stick with probably a USB Charlie and a USB Alpha, one in each port. There is a specific port arrangement that they want on this. So I'm going to go ahead and find out what that is real quick, and I will get them installed. Alright, so if I read this correctly, it looks like we're going to end up putting the A's on this side and the C's on this side. Just a moment, and I'll get those installed. All right, camera got dropped, but here's the first one. All right, quick change, so the A's are on that side and the C's are on this side. All right. I'm gonna power this guy up and install Windows, but first I need to make a flash drive. Here's the options I'm using with Rufus. I'm gonna go through these in quick succession, so pause the video to get an idea. Here we go, installing Windows. I actually do have this, bear with me a moment. Two very boring minutes later. Nobody reads those. Go, there's my SSD. Alright, installation proceeding along. Alright, here we go, it's about to reboot. Just a moment. There we go. First boot. <laughs> and that's why we use Rufus for this. Alright, now that we're at the desktop, unfortunately we're not going to be able to get drivers into it because the default media doesn't have the drivers for this particular Wi-Fi adapter, so I'm going to have to resort to a USB Ethernet adapter. So one of these is going to have to come out. Bear with me just a moment. Alright, that it doesn't quite fit flush, and the plastic kind of stands out a little bit. But... 
in theory should be good enough. All right. There we go. And just drape this from across the desk. To figure out the video. This might take a little while. Back in a bit. Okay, unfortunately Windows Update is not able to grab all the drivers on its own. But you can get the bundle directly from the knowledge base. Link in the description. Here we go, opening the file. There we go, it's going. No real fancy dialogue. Realtek Audio just got installed. We are, your computer will restart to complete driver installation. Press any key to continue. It's that last 5% that'll get you. All right, let's go install some programs. All right. Very useful website. Helps you install all these things without having to say no to all the junk that gets pre bundled. This is nineite.com. Not super exciting. It just takes care of putting all these things in for you. Alright, it's been a little bit. Got a few things installed, more or less set up and ready to go. All right, it's been a couple of days. I've had a little bit of use on this. And I'd like to offer my thoughts. So, one of the first things I'd like to point out that I do like is the ability to change stuff around. Although, with this particular... Let me hold this a little more steady. With this particular revision of the machine, I have to put the USB-A on this side and then the C on this side, which is a bit inconvenient because I have the mouse over here and the charger over here. And that leaves cable like that, which is kind of irritating. Um, one of the things I'd like to change is I'd like to just out, outright delete the touchpad. Nothing against the guys who did this. I just don't like them, period. I feel as though the touchpad is just not for me. I'd rather have the little button right here like Lenovo ThinkPads do. Um, one other issue I've run into is the enter key. I have to strike it right about here. I find it will get stuck in between right here if you strike it in this location it will get stuck underneath the backspace slash pipe key and then you kind of have to pick at it a little bit to get it to release so probably something to look at for future batches hopefully they offer a different input cover because otherwise I would just turn this off by unplugging the ribbon cable but it's one ribbon cable that controls the whole thing so I can't turn it off that way it'd have to be done probably in the BIOS or somewhere else because I much prefer if I can't use the little button I'd rather use a mouse and I'll just, I'll just deal with that but that's me I'm a fringe case I don't know how many of you how many of you out there feel the same way but otherwise I think this is a good laptop I'm probably gonna end up getting a docking station and phase this in as my garage PC for looking up stuff 
and kind of fades out my 4th gen i7 that's held on for longer than it should. And if you'd like, go ahead and leave a comment, and go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Tell me what you'd like to see. Till then, have a great day.